Hello team. Welcome back to another line war cast real quick. Here's your map. You can see we got kind of split into three different segments, the left side, the center side, and then the right side, which has some good trade routes. Uh, the game today is between Besantos in blue and Infenzia in red, which for those in the know, these are the two devs of line war. If you want to thank someone for line war, you can thank these two. We can see that both of them are going to spawn, or I assume that, yeah, Besanto is, is going to spawn down here in blue again, and Fenzia in red. Uh, and we'll see if, I don't even know if they quite can see each other right now. And Fenzia can't see that Besantos is there, so Besantos doesn't see the, the other way either. Uh, two factories start from Besantos, one airport right away from Fenzia. We can see what Besantos is building out of these uh artillery for now out of the factory and infenzia follows up with their own factory at this point both players know uh that they're they're started right off beside each other uh which at this beginning of the game they had both picked the middle here so you could kind of assume that this is where both players were going to start because I, I don't think anywhere else on the map is all that strong Besantos has their own airfield and a barracks that is dropping, and uh, Infenzia drops another uh, two barracks of their own. Infenzia has some good back capping up in the north. Besantos, I feel like, is going to get a little bit aggressive here. This feels aggressive. I think potentially maybe, because like this one group is kind of going to back cap, but Infenzia has way more back capping units. Right, like the way more squads in the back there. We're gonna get a very quick artillery roar from both players. Sam follow up from Besantos. I like this, uh, especially since Besantos probably okay. So Besantos actually can't see that there's an air airport here. Uh, we're on Besantos' vision here, so these Sams are just a good guess. Uh, and also, I feel like just a strong follow up. Having Sams is always good, just so you can get, you know, a few Sams out in a group seems like a very safe uh play and will come in handy here both players going for helicopters out of their airports which in my humble opinion i think air helicopters are very good i know in general like strikers are the the supposedly easier thing to kind of play with uh but helicopters can be very deadly this is a very interesting dig in from infenzia and i love it because Dig like th this. This barracks will or this factory will never fall at this point. With two two artillery dug in, like the only way to kill it is to go around. So this is actually really cool using these little uh, defensive setups here from Infenzia. Because if you can actually get dug in, then it becomes very strong doing it right on the edge of your buildings. First helicopter up for Infenzia. That would mean that the same uh, is true of the Santos. We'll see when Besantos decides to launch uh, their helicopters. And uh, the two Sams are sort of out of position. If they move up, here they go. They're starting to move now. Uh, this barracks, I feel like, will fall, especially if Besantos were to target this. But maybe that's not the play right now. Either way, th this is a lot of pressure on the right side. We can see Infensia has their gas up in the north. Uh, no gas yet for Besantos. Uh, no refinery, rather, that's been built. Uh, starting to do a little bit of back capping this barracks in the back for Besantos will come in a huge help in that way because every every you know every moment that goes by that uh, capping is going on in the back that's more income for Besantos. This is quite this is I think on the yeah see on the right this this barracks goes down and that's kind of annoying for Infenzia but it's not like Infenzia is going to lose this position because of this defensive line. This, these helicopters, like this helicopter and these helicopters, if there's no Sams around, would be huge for Infenzia. Because you can just like keep going on the helicopters, right? Like if your opponent doesn't have Sams, uh, then there's no way, you know, like they can't do anything against against this. And helicopters over time will do a lot of damage to artillery and, and infantry, as you can kind of see here on the right. On the left, I love that Besantos has uh, these two Sams kind of following, giving air support for this infantry, which makes them so much stronger, especially since uh, Besantos knows that there's helicopters out, as you know, we can see the damage that they're doing. 
We hear uh, at industry go down for Basantos. That's what that cow noise was, which is uh, for a farm fittingly. So starting the eco game, uh, we can see that uh, Infenzi has also started the eco up in the north. And quickly at this point, it would be interesting and smart to do a income check. 392 for Basantos and 416 for Infenzia. So very close. I don't think that really shows enough yet. It's going to depend on who gets control of the center. I think it looks good for Infenzia. Right with with these helicopters, but this is gonna actually be a push and pull. Like th this for this forest is really good to have Sam's in for both players because as you can see, like uh, if we go to Basantos' view, they can see this Sam. But for I, I assume I think for a split second, as the helicopters kind of approach this forest, they're not gonna be able to see it right away, and th that allows a Sam to get off a first hit or or a little bit more damage and trade favorably, uh, a tiny bit. This is another factory for Basantos. We can see a commando is getting set up and a transport plane. This is huge. I'm not sure what the plan is yet. Potentially could actually be to go take this island on the right. Um, someone, I think Basantos just lost the helicopter. Yep. And I, I like that this, these units are actually dipping. Like it doesn't in hindsight end up to go, like end up going that well if these units get cleaned up. But I like kind of like retreat moving behind and just seeing like, are these gases taken from Infenzia? Unfortunately for Basantos, this is the gas that Infenzia went for. And still no gas for Basantos themselves. Still no refinery that's been built, which it will have to come soon because this plane is going to have a tough time transporting these commandos without uh, gas. Penzi is still dug into this position. This becomes very strong. This is a good push from Basantos. Uh, if Basantos can get like a bunch of units in this forest and clear out these SAMs, these helicopters become way more powerful. And this this looks kind of promising because there's actually three, almost to be like you know five artillery pieces that are pushing. It'll be this defensive line that'll be tough for Basantos to get through. Still love this retreat move. Uh, I assume Basantos is also scouting these top gases to see if that's where Infenzi has uh, got their refinery. We've learned that one of the best ways to end a game or to throw your opponent off guard is just to snipe their gas very early. This command uh, or this transport plane has gone to the right island uh, to, to get all of this economy for uh, Basantos and start on this. We can see Infenzia echoing in the north of the map. Quick income check, 462 for uh, Basantos, 474 for Infenzia. We can hear these tanks rolling. Tanks are generally great in open fields and when they get around your opponent's army and get on top of the production. Something that might make it hard here is that the, these tanks are gonna have to traverse this mountain and they're going to be very slow through this mountain range. It's great for Infenzia that the Santos is out of gas right now. That's very lucky. The Santos has built their, their gas now. It's going to take a while for this to get up and running, so all these helicopters for the Santos are grounded. If I had a nickel for every time that I got a gas like super late that wasn't playing myself, I, I mean, holy cow. You know how the saying goes. That would be a lot of nickels. All these planes are, are grounded for Basantos now. Which is super unfortunate, right? Because this is like a, a big investment. These commandos are still pumping. This is going to be huge when these planes get back up so that, that Basantos can continue to expand and, and potentially even, you know, get this this island on the, on the left because those planes can reach it and commando drop in. And as for production, three factory for Basantos here and two factory for Infenzia. So like in theory, if, over time, Basantos should be able to get more stuff than Infenzia does, just like number of units wise, because there's an extra factory producing. And I think it really, I, the, see these tanks are really good for chasing down random units and actually back capping an open field. So it looks like that's what the plan has become. For Infenzia, we can hear some more industry. I assume that's in the top 
right okay so sorry that's a that's a town that's gone down it's because there's industry around it it can turn into a city cities give you 10 tiles worth of income which is uh, you know clearly very big these helicopters are the luckiest helicopters alive that both that all of them got out and one of the strengths of helicopters, we can kind of go big picture to see th these stems are going to get cleared up. These tanks are going to chase them down. Uh, one of the things about helicopters is once you get them in a swarm like this, if you can hit where there's no SAMs or interceptors, you know, anything to deal with them, you can do a lot of damage very quickly. I mean, these five helicopters are going to be able to clear up, you know, clear out all of these units on the right. Santo's getting a little bit of a contain on this mountain range. Which I think is is really good. Sam's in the mountains are especially strong uh, because there is a little bit of a of a a stealth bonus to these Sam's. Like as you can see, they're kind of disappearing from view a little bit from Avenzia. So if helicopters fly over it, uh, they like the Sam's will get you know more shots off, or they won't be able to, the helicopters won't be able to attack them as quickly. Like we can actually see this is the sort of vision that. Infenzi it gets and then these tanks just run into a bunch of Sam's and artillery and Very slow through mountains as we can imagine a tank uh, To be so like the geography of line war maps is really interesting because it actually changes the whole way uh, That you have to kind of approach it Infenzi has got this gas on the left, which is fine It would be so funny if Bisantos gets a dock. This is very very exposed uh, I when and if the Santos gets a dock there. These two planes, kind of interested to see where they're going. We can see the line, so it is an attack move. This is a very bold play by the Santos, and I love it. I, these commandos are going to get dropped off right on the production. There's not going to be enough Sam, so these these planes are going to get in for sure. Another factory for the Santos, and the more in industry also, which is good. So keeping an eye on the eco. If these commandos can pull this off. I mean, this is the ultimate SEAL Team 6 Mission Impossible style. Basantos is going to get this airfield. Four Commandos is going to do a lot of damage. Like, two transport planes dropping right here. It's actually big. I so, this going for the factory, I wonder if... The factory is also fine, because if you can kill production, this is so good. Yeah, okay, so Basantos does... It, it's kind of... I'm, I'm really hoping that this, this airfield goes down. But the helicopters clean it up so quick. That's a lucky break for Infenzia, for sure. That was a great play. I th like that, and you can see like just how quickly commanders would be able to kill an airfield like that. Six seventy-six income for Visantos and seven forty-three for Infenzia. So Infenzia is kind of pulling a little bit ahead here. They have this set up, building another town in the back. This town can become a city in a second uh, whenever Infenzia has the money to do so. There's just not enough SAMs here for Infenzia. So these helicopters are super effective right now until these SAMs kind of show up and get involved. And this looks really ugly for Infenzia, but I think it's going to be fine in general. Like, it may, the, the big worry for Infenzia, I think, is losing this airport. But because there's helicopters, it's not like there's any planes on the airport. So it's a huge loss, you know, just by investment of what you put in to build the airport. But it's not like you're going to lose the airport and then five strikers explode. Because if, if planes are landed at this airport and it's, it's killed, uh, the planes will also die. Infenzia is the first one to build a dock. Commando drop in the north from Bisantos is going to be huge because there's really no units over here for Infenzia. So these helicopters are, yeah, as we see, going to have to fly up to the north. And something that's huge for Bisantos here is Infenzia has to do two hops with these helicopters. This actually is too far of a distance. So as you can see, Infenzia has to do a small hop here and then we'll be able to get them uh, to the north. Another transport plane with four commandos. We saw how quickly they could kill an airfield. Uh, this is going, like, they'll probably, I think these commandos will be able to get this city at least and maybe one other building before all the helicopters show up. More industry for Bisantos. I think, like, momentum-wise, this is a huge play for uh, Bisantos in this game. 
tanks back capping in the left uh, top left of the map for Infensia, which is one of the good uses for tanks. I don't make tanks myself, but so I'm not you know super sure. But it does feel like watching replays. That's something uh, a good use for them. 794 income for Infensia, 734 now for Brisanto. So sort of catching up. This is enough sams to scare these helicopters away only one will get taken out and i really like the this is very interesting defensive line use i had we hadn't been seeing defensive or rather i hadn't been seeing defensive lines all that much in replays until this game uh and i think this is one of the ways to do i mean the like sh super close to your production like this it just makes it so strong so I said that these commandos would get one building. It looks like they're actually going to get two because they're kind of pesky up here. Uh, we can see if Basantos can see these, right? Because commandos have stealth. So you can see they're kind of disappearing from view as less units go uh, close to them for Infensia. So it's it's an aspect of the commando which makes it uh, you know, very difficult to deal with and opens up for this multitasking because there's four helicopters around. And they probably should be able to see these commandos because, but because they don't have enough, you know, detection. Uh, interceptors have have higher detection. Uh, submarines, I or destroyers. And I'm super missing another unit. But uh, though there's some units that help with uh, detecting stealth units like commandos and subs. More transport planes. I think this is a good investment. If, uh, Bisantos is getting a great scout in the north of the map, and those commandos will continue to tax the attention of Infensia. This is... I wonder where these SAMs are, are going. I guess maybe just to scout in the top. Because Bisantos has tons of SAMs. Are these all just making SAMs? Only SAMs? See, this is what I like doing. I like making Sams. I think Sams are super good to have. These, If these commandos can get this gas, that's actually really big. Because they will not immediately land the helicopters. But if Bacentis can actually get both gases, uh, that all the helicopters for Infensi would have to land. This isn't going to happen here. But I suspect Bacentis is going to immediately go back and try to try to drop commandos on this again. Because I think it's buying them a lot of time. You can check the rest of the map. Submarine pen on the far right for Basantos. That will very likely come into play later. The left side of the map, no one is at yet. A town in the top for uh, Infensia. And we can quickly check the income again. 851 for Basantos and 935 for Infensia. So Infensia kind of keeping that, like, you know, just north of 50-ish uh, income lead uh, since the beginning of the game. This is really big whenever helicopters can even get a few shots off like this. Uh, as long as the helicopters don't die, this is just pure value for Basantos. And Infensia realizes that this is kind of a risk uh, if, if both of these gases or one of these gases fall. So these are haste-moved retreat-commanded tanks. That unfortunately these two tanks didn't go far enough, but these two tanks will get there. Uh, tanks are actually quite quick when they're when they're put on the the jets and using more gas. Bisantos now has a dock on the right side. This is going to heat up. Infensia has the naval advantage right now. Again, nothing's on the left side of the map. These Sams will certainly get this gas. I think every Sam is going to get taken out, but that gas is dead. And if if the uh, the commandos of Basantos could take out this right gas, or could have, that would have been uh, enormous. Because now that both players are getting navies involved, navies take a lot of gas. We can see what uh, Basantos is building. It's straight uh, cruisers. Uh, there's some interceptors and even more transport planes for Basantos, and Basantos has now gone. These all, actually, in fact, all four factories are now making tanks. Which tanks will be really good on this map, like in this part of the map, because of the open fields. Like imagine some tanks rolling through here if they have any SAM cover. Uh, or e even in here because the tanks don't have to go that far into the forest, so it's not like they're going slow. So I, I don't know, we'll see. I'm interested to see what Basantos' plans with uh, for the tanks are. But, but this is a lot of SAMs. 
Like, Infancy is not going to be able to use any of the helicopters, and there's quite a few helicopters. Infancy's got the top North Island. Ca you know, boats are just kind of scouting around on the right. This is becoming the big fight. Uh, like, there's no way flying any helicopters. Like, Infancy is not going to be able to use any of these helicopters, and this is actually a lot of stuff for Basantos. These artillery pieces on the left for Infancy and need to get back in position. But I think already this is going to be at least two production buildings that go down. This is where the, you know, the play of sending the Sams up to the get this gas that Infancy is now building. Like when Basantos did that, this pulls all of these units out of, out of, out of position for this attack, which could end up being huge. I feel like this in some sense could shift the momentum in Basantos's favor. Although if these helicopters can kind of get rid of this dock by themselves and then Infensius starts ecoing up here, maybe it's fine. Like Infensius still has an eco lead, right? 981 for Basantos. Nope, never mind. 980 for Infensia. Both players are exactly on the dot with each other. So we're we're kind of back at square one in some sense like it really the, these next few minutes are going to just kind of decide who takes the momentum i think it's such a i've said it before and i'll say it again it's stupid or it's not stupid but it's always funny to be like the next few minutes matter the most but i think the next few minutes do in fact matter the most these tanks are just going to the forest they will be slow in the forest but tanks are so good at killing killing buildings that they might be able to snipe this factory and then either get out or just keep fighting more commando drops in the north for, uh, for Basantos. Love this play. Industry for Basantos. This gas that Basantos has made uh, on the bottom right is definitely going down. Uh, we can see on the right that there's subs now in play. And the firecracker Sams on the right are going ham on the infantry. And this is going to get cleaned up. So, the, so what was it? Two buildings. Uh were killed. The Santos was able to get two buildings. They're out of gas now, because especially because that gas got got killed. There's actually no good gases for the Santos. This is actually a problem, and there's no potential gases on the left. Like the, the Santos needs to actually like push up to these gases or really make sure uh, that they get this ocean gas. I didn't actually realize that about this map, because really when you look at it, there's not a lot of gas options on the south of this island. This is still, I, I, I think Infensia is maybe at some point going to be in a position to push this a little bit. I don't know, there's still only two factories for Infensia though, and the water battle is so big. These two cruisers for Basantos are going to do great against two missile ships. Yeah, and, and Infenza realizes that and, and dips because uh, they aren't going to be able to snipe this gas. This is just an enormous fight in the in the middle. But it does look like Basantos is, is going to back off. Here comes another commando drop on the production. And I'm really interested to see if these commandos can pick it off this time. This will be big on this factory. And kind of just going big picture for a second to see what else is up. This is a city that's being made. That's for sure what uh, what is being constructed there. So that's a that's going to be big economy for Offensia when it gets up. These commandos are going to be able to snipe that factory. Instead of going at the uh, airport, they're going to back off to the north. I think that is the best possible play that could be made right now. That looks sweet, just dropping four circle commands. Uh, and this is a big push from Basantos. And in a lot of, they have enough right now. Because this is, they're very quickly going to be on this forest again. It's this gas that really matters for Basantos. At least one of these gases. And having all these subs in the north, this is going to be very annoying for Infensia because Infensia is going to have to deal with these subs or going to, you know, lose these trade routes. Or rather, those transport routes and then potentially their own dock. This commando is still being annoying. We can actually see if uh, Infensia can see it. They can because there's, a, there's enough units around it. Uh, but of course, there's so much going on in this game. 
the multitasking is real, so it's not surprising uh, that sometimes, you know, like, the commanders will be able to get in get out before any reaction is made. These tanks getting on this airport could be scary. I wonder if you just, like, click on this airport with these tanks if they could kill it. Helicopters do so good against cruisers. There's one missile ship that's shown up. Two interceptors get scrambled to deal with it. Interceptors will do great against helicopters. Kind of see the fight on the left going on with the, the SAMs taking care of the helicopters. And then on the right, the interceptors taking care of the helicopters. And that's such a good trade, especially if this other helicopter goes down, which it somehow does not. This feels like it's turning into Basanto's favor. We can see the income, 1047 for Infenzia and uh, just over 1100 for Basanto's. Basanto's is going to be able to secure this gas. I think they're going to be able to secure this one over time with, with just sub usage because there's not really not enough of, an a of a navy uh, for Infenzia. Maybe over time. This is interesting watching this gas. I think that's something to watch. Benzi is building two more bar or two more factories, rather. Uh, I think that it is definitely the play right now. This is so many factories for for Pisantos, right? Like Pisantos has all of this production, and Benzi needs this and has started building production of their own to kind of deal with this. And this is such a good position, though, for Benzia. Like how long? The, the fact that this uh, airport's been up for so long is is really good. These commandos are going to be big again. Because now all the units have been pulled out of position again. Like, they have to go down to the south to defend this push. Uh, which is the right play. Uh, Infenzia started to land a little bit on that island. It's not going to work. Both players have just enough production on their own island. They're not going to lose it. Sniping this dock would be huge for Basantos if they can. Kind of your big look right now at what's going on. There's not that many helicopters left for Infenzia, unless they're somewhere that I have not seen, but I, f I feel like there's been so many of them and lost. I mean, you can see, and we saw just how many uh, SAMs Vicentos had. So on this side of the map, airport, this is gonna be big for Infenzia to kind of help uh, deal with this, like even just helicopters here, uh, or strikers and some combination to deal with the subs. May at least one of these buildings will go down, but maybe even both. And th see, this is where this is where the tanks really come into play. Like tanks are going to be the best when they're they get behind everything, and now they're just on top of buildings. So I'm interested to see if there's even more tanks coming. Yeah, there's still tanks being built. There's a factory that's just like throwing around a artillery piece. I always love when or a Sam, I guess. I don't know. It's upside down. I always love when that happens. I think it looks so funny. Just imagining factory workers at that place. Uh, yeah, so th this commando wasn't able to get the dock. Uh, th this cruiser's gonna finish it off though. And eventually we really need to see, cause I feel like this is now, I would be panicking in a lot of ways. 1036 economy for Infenzia, 1179 for Basantos. So Basantos is now ahead. Uh, and by, you know, like what's becoming a considerable margin. We see a missile pad go down for Basantos. So this nuke, uh, we can see exactly where it's gonna be able to hit like this blue circle. So all the production of Fenzia is there. Fenzia doesn't have a, a ton of SAMs uh, to be able to shoot this nuke down. And I think this is just slowly crumbling, unfortunately for Fenzia. This gas is up for for Basantos. This island is pretty much entirely Basantos's, and then this, this North Island is really the last uh, enclave, maybe is the word, of Invenzia. And like they, Invenzia needs to get off this top right island and, and get across because economically they're in trouble. They either need to start like uh, building economically, but it's hard when there's so much stuff on top of production or uh, cap capping territory. And I don't know how they're, how it's gonna be able to be done. I think this was just well played by the Santos. Like being able to get up this water is so big. And you can hear like there's another town that's gone down somewhere right here. 
for Bisantis. So continuing with that economy to get even further ahead. 1191 for Bisantos, 1048 uh, for Infenzia. And now more production going down uh, for Infenzia. These subs are so annoying, for sure. Because, see, like, so this transport boat, these submarines are stealth, right? So the only indication that this is happening is if is the sound and, and the visuals on the boat taking damage. And that it's just so much, so good that uh, Bisantos has like sub control on the right side of the map. Still nothing on the left side. Uh, another this another Sam getting thrown around. And I believe these commandos are not going to be able to get any building with an artillery piece here and another commando showing up. But it's at this point, it's going to be very difficult for Infenzi to get back. This is sort of play that's actually really great. This is a great call from Infenzi to start getting this, this gas. Because there's a lot of tanks on the map for Basantos and obviously the subs of their own. So if you can just make sure they have to maybe care about their gas like Basantos has a full thing of gas though so getting the third refinery is definitely good for Invenzia but I wonder there needs to be some sort of like get back in the gameplay and and the fact that Inf uh, Byzantos has this nuke it's gonna be very difficult for like this is a if Invenzia wins this game I'll I'll be I'll eat my hat as they say Someone said that once, and that's, and I've heard people say it. So the point is, I can't expect that is going to be able to get back at this point. Uh, 1,200 economy for Byzantos, 1,048 for Infenzia, so it's not that bad. This is definitely the play to just, like, send this one boat past, but unfortunately it's going to run into a cruiser. There's still enough SAMs for Vesantos that these helicopter, these few remaining helicopters aren't going to be able to do much. This would almost be good for Infenzi if these interceptors just inted themselves over these, uh, these SAMs. One goes down. But you can see that Vesantos has now, like, broken this map in half. Uh, and they just, they have way more. And there's enough at home that this, this counter push from Mufenzia is going to run into all of this. Which, like, this is the play for sure. Just try to get on top of this. We got a cruiser versus cruiser battle. I believe the blue cruiser will win. This tank can do do damage. This one hero tank is going to bring Infenzia back in the game. Yeah, so so Bisantos now realizes that these units are out of position. Like these units probably got evacuated to kind of do this, and that is certainly going to be it. That was tough. I feel like that was a pretty decent position from Fenzia, and then it's just like I, maybe it was the multitask on the the commandos or something, but all of a sudden it just went into a, a really like commanding position for Bisantos. I mean, this is kind of ridiculous, right? Like these units are retreat moving into five production buildings for Bisantos. Bisantos also gets Infensius dock on the north. So this now destroys any chance of, uh, you know, a Navy getting up besides this, this dockyard, which this is a good little setup with all these helicopters. Like those helicopters will be really good. But it does feel like it'll be a little bit too, too, you know, too little, too late. These commanders are definitely sniping that gas. They'll probably move up to the north and get this other gas or this, uh, this town. 1295 income for Bisantos and 1012 for Venzia. This becomes the fight now. This now becomes a mini game of who can take this red island. So we'll, we'll, we can watch both. I mean, this is all all dead, and now over time, Bacentis will just push up. This nuke is actually ready. It needs 20 gas to launch, which Bacentis has, so that will, might be happening at any moment. 
and gonna keep a like large view like this because I've missed so many nukes casting games and I refuse to miss nukes now. So I'm just we're just gonna wait and watch this. Like this is this is good for Infenzio. Infenzio is gonna get the speechhead for sure. Like maybe when these boats show up. But there's a decent number of helicopters. Like there's actually four helicopters. There's only one missile boat for Basanto setting over. So over time it'll be decent, but this is this is a big push. Like Basantos is definitely gonna be able to push up up this. And the good thing is, is that Infenzi actually sniped the gas. Like that was so this the gas that Infenzi got has now actually made it so Basantos has no gas. So all the tanks can't move, the nuke can't be launched, all the boats are stuck. I think this is fine for like this is definitely fine for Benzia because this is a destroyer so it can see the submarine anyway and destroyers do decent against subs we can see the black trail of smoke uh on the tanks which means they are out of gas units that are out of gas take more damage too so this is a refinery i didn't realize there's a gas here but there's uh yeah there is so that's a refinery for Basantos. Uh, because the, like can we mentioned earlier that like there's not that many good gases for Basantos, so pushing up and getting this one is one of the options and I feel like although Infancy got this little island and won the mini game uh Basantos has too much income and this push is going to definitely win it's it's just a matter of time yeah GG we don't see who exactly won but we can probably assume it was Basantos sweet hopefully we didn't miss anything big i don't think we missed too much big you know but get at me in the comments thank you so much for uh watching and i hope you had a good time have a great day night evening whatever it is come join the line war discord uh the i stream line war on twitch other folks do too so head over there and follow the category and come say hello and We'll see you next time. GG, thank you so much uh, for the game, folks. See ya.